Follow along with me while I unbox and set up a new wide format inkjet printer in my craft room. Hello, this is Megan with Little Gray Squirrel, and today I'm setting up my new printer. I'll have a blog post with some of the details of this printer and instructions linked in the description below, as well as a link to the printer if you are looking for a wide format inkjet printer for your home, office, small business, or craft room. This is my old printer, which you may have seen in some of my previous videos. It was an Epson Workforce 7610 inkjet printer. It was also a wide format, which I just love having to be able to use with my silhouette machines and for craft projects. I had it for several years and it worked great until I used a third party ink cartridge in it and it clogged a print head. So I was able to clean that out and then it worked fine as long as I used full color until a piece of plastic broke off inside the printer. So I think that was a part that registers that the paper tray is loaded. Anyhow, after that, the printer was in a constant error state and I couldn't print anymore. So it was time to find a new one. Some of the criteria I had for picking out a new printer was I wanted to be inkjet. I wanted it to be wide format that prints at least 11 inches by 17 and ideally a 12 by 12 inch uh, borderless as well. I wanted it to be able to print on cardstock, print on matte and glossy materials, to be wireless and be able to print from my mobile device, and be an all-in-one uh, printer, scanner, copier since I had those functions with my old printer. And then optional, I wanted it to have a tank style ink. And finally my budget was about $300. After quite a bit of searching, I came across the Canon TS9521C, which checked all of the boxes except for the ink tank. The wide format printers with the tanks were a couple hundred to several hundred dollars more, and I figured with the amount of printing that I do, I could buy a lot of ink with that difference, so I went with this one. Let's get this open. So first thing we have inside here are some paper samples. And then we have a getting started guide. Uh, here's some of the smaller photo paper samples. And there's a CD and some more information. the ink. And the power cord. So it comes with, you say setup, so setup cartridges of the Canon, um, this is a pigment black ink, the PGBK280, uh, and then these are dye inks and the CMYK, and these are 281. So here we are with the front of the printer and it has this uh, orange tape that's holding some of these pieces closed. So I'm going to go ahead and move the printer over to its spot and then I'll continue uh, removing these pieces here. So this is where my printer goes and then now I can peel off these um, strips of packing materials. So this is the, the top feeder for scanning and copying. And then the flatbed for scanning and copying. So this is the paper tray and it will come all the way out. And then these are for adjusting up to the size. And that closes in there. And then this is the front, so when the um, when the paper prints out, this supports it. Here's the SD card. Uh, we have the power button, the LCD screen, and then in the back is where the is the rear paper slot. To use the rear paper slot, 
This lifts up. Open this up. This will extend. And then these will separate as wide as your material is that you're using. You load the material into the rear print feed slot. The printable side of the material should be facing up. And then same with envelopes. This shows you the direction. And then this, these uh, blue tabs here separate to 12 inches apart. So you just put your media in and then slide it down. Right, so we'll go ahead and close this up. All right, we have the outer pieces of packing tape removed and now we're gonna open up in here and remove this piece. And now we can plug it in. I have my cable unraveled here. So go ahead and plug this into the machine. And then the other end into the wall. I bought one of these uh, surge protectors and I used it on my computer when I was setting that up. So now I need to get another one over here in this area. Uh, but for now, it's just a one, so I'm gonna plug it into my outlet. Okay, so this needs to be lifted. And then I found another piece of the tape in here. Make sure that's off. And then now on the top, we will turn on the power. And now we have English selected. Start print setup. Continue with setup by referring to the Get Ink Started guide. So we will do that. So now we're gonna put the ink cartridges in. So we can go ahead and close this. And then these were the cartridges that it came with. So we'll go ahead and unwrap um, the plastic and then remove the other plastic part and then install them. On both sides of the machine, we'll just lift it up. And then it's already slid into the center here. And I don't know if it goes any more open than this. I don't want to force it. So I'm just going to say this is how wide I think it should open. And then we'll just work within here. So we'll start with the cyan, the blue here. And we just pull up. click in place and then now down here it shows that the blue is installed so now we'll just go ahead and do the rest so next is the pigment black and then yellow and then black and then finally the magenta And we'll close the lid and then it says to start alignment to improve the print quality and prepare two or more sheets of a4 letter size plain paper um, so i'll go ahead and do that now we'll load the couple pieces of paper here like it asked so i'm going to press ok and it says load two or more sheets of a4 or letter size in the cassette and tap ok so i'm going to remove this and i'm going to first slide this up to letter and then I'll insert the two pieces of paper and then I'll make sure that this is right next to the edge of the paper and then we'll load this back in the machine. And then now we're going to start the connection preparation. So first I'm going to connect this to my computer. 
So I'm gonna head over to the computer now and I will download or install the software and start connecting it to the printer. So now it's time to connect the printer to my computer. It gives a few options to do this. You can do it online. Uh, if you have a Windows computer, you can use the CD-ROM to install it. I'm not gonna do that because usually the CD has an outdated version of the software by the time you receive it. Uh, so we're just gonna download it directly from the website to save us uh, hopefully having to update it immediately after installing. So I'm just following the steps in the getting started guide that came with my printer and it had me go to the website, and then now I'm going to click set up. Now I'm gonna input my printer model number, which is the TS9521C. And I've already prepared, so I can go ahead and skip. And now I can connect. So I'm gonna download the software. And a little box popped up and I accepted that. And then now, now I'll select Start Setup. So first I'll try to connect from the computer to the printer. And if that doesn't work, I'll connect from the printer to the computer. Uh, all these instructions are in the manual and online, so you can follow them all to set it up in any way that you need. I'm going to be using the Wi-Fi connection, so make sure this is checked. Make sure that the power is turned on. So it said it wouldn't uh, support the five gigahertz network. Uh, so I clicked back. So my printer gave me a prompt asking if I wanted to connect to Wi-Fi, and I selected yes. So I'm going to try to set up the Wi-Fi from the printer. So we'll select the Wi-Fi, and then Wi. Go into settings. And now we are connected. Go back to home and that's all finished. And my connection is complete. And mine had already printed out, uh, done a couple of test sheets. I'm going to go put a couple more pieces of paper in, and then we'll do another test print. So here is the test print. And that looks really good. It's nice to have a functioning printer again. And with that, we are all done with our setup. Now I can choose if I want to install the user's manual, the Easy Photo Print Editor, and the Easy Web Print EX. So you want to check those and make sure that's something you really want to have on your computer or unselect them if you don't. These are things I don't really need. Plug in at my hard drive. Instructions from a smartphone or tablet. I don't need that either. And this is all set. And then installation completed successfully. All done. So I can save this um, page here to one of my folders and then I'll be able to easily access it whenever I need. The next step in the instruction manual is to connect the printer to your smartphone. On my phone, since my phone is connected to the same network, uh, wireless network that um, my computer is, it's already connected. So whenever I went to my photos and I went to print and it said select a printer, my new Canon printer showed up in there. If yours doesn't, then you can just follow the instructions by downloading the app, um, either for iOS or Android, and then uh, just follow the steps to do that. And you can find these instructions online. Um, these were in the manual that came with the printer, uh, but there's uh, lots of support. And then there's also, you can access it within the setup. This is the Seamless Watercolor Pumpkins uh, digital images that I got uh, for free. This is the one that I did my first print off of. Unfortunately, it's not free any longer, 
but I will put a link to this one uh, in the description as well as my email newsletter and my Facebook group where I share where you can get free and cheap fonts and designs with commercial use. I just did my first print and my first 12 by 12 inch print. I grabbed the, uh, the free uh, digital papers from today on uh, Creative Fabrica and it's like fall glitter patterns. Oh my goodness, look at that. And this isn't like glitter paper or anything, but it's just a glitter image. And that printed so good. I just used, um, I have some of these uh, 12 by 12 inch cardstock that I didn't really plan to use for anything else. So I printed on the back. Uh, so I can use this now for, I don't know, any sort of uh, scrapbook or paper crafting. And this is a borderless, so 12 by 12 inch borderless. Super cool. So excited.